This is the city, Cleveland, Ohio, and this is the Makerspace inside Sears Thinkbox at Case Western Reserve University. I work here. It was Tuesday, June 4th. It was clear in Cleveland. I was working the day shift. My name's Charnas, Ian Charnas. It was 4.30 when the call came in. Hi everyone, I'm Jen, uh, Jen Schachter, and I've been doing some collaborations with Adam over the past few years. The woman represented an elusive figure in San Francisco known only as Adam Savage. Mr. Savage was reported to be a master of disguise and was not to be taken lightly. My contact described the situation. The 50th anniversary of the moon landing is this July. Our contribution is to make a replica of the command module hatch. The hatch itself is a trapezoidal door with sort of rounded edges. It's pretty iconic. We are going to try as a, as a group of about 50, 50 people, 50 teams, to recreate this incredibly complex piece of machinery using different artistic mediums. So on July 16th, we will be reassembling all the pieces uh, there on that day. Something told me there was more to this story, and I wanted to hang around long enough to find out what it was. I'd like to put myself down, if no one else uh, claimed it already, for the cabin purge port. Great. It's all yours. I'm going to send you like an official welcome email. You'll have the mission assignment document, this parts list, um, all the information that you need. The documents arrived in a secure binder. My job was simple. Recreate the cabin purge port from the Apollo 11 command module. But somewhere in the recesses of my mind, a thought dimly appeared. Why recreate the hatch? Don't they already have one? But this was no time for deep thoughts. I had a job to do. Hours felt like minutes as I sprinted to finish the part. Above the din of my machine's stepper motors, the thought grew louder. What if they don't actually have the hatch? Are we recreating the hatch because the real one is missing? After all, isn't that why they called me? Without blowing their cover story, I thought of a way to help. I do a lot of uh, electronics. How do you feel about uh, incorporating a little bit of electronics? Um, my only... Well, two, two thoughts. One would be if the longevity of that for the exhibit. The other component would just be if the electronics would, uh, I don't want to say distract. My client was thrilled, but before I could start, I would need some supplies. I went downtown to a secure storage facility. I had arranged for a few items I would need if I wanted to close this case. As I worked, I started to wonder, was just the hatch missing? Or was it the entire command module? I didn't know. What I did know is that things go missing with alarming regularity. I should know. I get called in to find them. It's easy to lose a command module. One minute you open the hatch and step outside for a spacewalk. Time and space stretch out before you like a Home Depot parking lot. Ever try to find your car in a Home Depot parking lot? Well, space is a heck of a lot bigger. You lose track of time the next thing you know, you turn around and your Apollo command module is gone, vanished. Where did you park it? If only you had installed a wireless tracker. With this device, they'll never lose their command module again. The only question I had was how to conceal it. Jen, what's the rule on glitter? How, how much of the surface can we cover with glitter? Um, I mean, you know what they say about glitter. I'm not going to repeat it on the call, but... Um... I would say maybe seal it, um, seal it with some type of uh, clear coat. With the camouflage applied, the only thing left to do was test it. Hey Siri, find my Apollo command module. Apollo command module is nearby. I'm ringing it now. In the void of space, no one can hear an audible tracker but this device comes with a visual indicator that lets you know when you're moving closer. Gotcha. It was time to close this case and send the results to my client. What you learn on cases like these is what a client asks for isn't always what they're really after. What started as a simple build project ended up as a mission to find an Apollo command module. I've been in this business a long time long enough to know that if you want clients to come back, 
you've got to find ways to sweeten the deal. Give them more than what they asked for. Well, Jen and Adam, mission accomplished. There's a million stories here at Sears Thinkbox, and this was just one.